got. <laughs> there are just three island torches left to win, so the competition is getting fierce. No, that's not fair. You're so contradicting yourself. As Sting planned to overtake Claw, Claw are equally determined to win. He's so he used to beating Sting and Venom. And, and winning and Scorpion and Island! But who will take the lead as the race to escape from Scorpion Island gets ever closer? Welcome to Escape from Scorpion Island, where right now we have three teams of brave adventurers who are all trying to escape this devious island. But only one team can win. And who will that be? Team Sting, Team Claw, or Team Venom? On the final day, only one team will get off the island, because the race to escape is almost impossible. Their only hope is to collect these island torches. They hold a secret power, the power of light. Whichever team wins the most island torches will have the best chance of winning the final challenge because the adventurers will be in darkness. The island torches are their only hope of escape. This is going to be an extraordinary adventure. Each day, our teams will face not one, but two challenges. The first being the Eliminator. Now, winning that takes them through to Double Jeopardy, where they continue to battle for the island torch. So Team Claw and Team Sting both have five island torches. Whereas Team Venom is lagging behind with just one. But who will win this time? And who will take that all-important island torch back to their camp? And what possible challenge could the island have of its climbing netty sleeve this time? This is the mighty serious scramble. The adventurers are going to have to face their fear of heights and demonstrate enormous physical strength to scramble up it all the way to the top. It's going to be a terrifying climb. Taking on serious scramble for Team Claw, it's Suki and Ailey. They'll be pitted against Team Venom, Tani and Imani. Remember, only one of these teams will go on to play against Team Sting in Double Jeopardy later on. Hello, teams. Welcome to the Eliminator. How are you feeling? Good. Nervous. Nervous? Excited. Ready. Really, really excited. excited. You can see it in the background there. Ailey, you said you're nervous. Why are you nervous? Um, because the challenge just looks like the... The one that will push you to limit or the most that we've done, and it looks the scariest, but I'm sure me and Suki can overcome it and hopefully win. Venom, we have the dream team, Imani and Tani. <laughs> Are we going to make it another Island Torch today? Yes. Of course. Of course. <laughs> because Sting won the last challenge, they will have the right to bypass the Eliminator and go straight through to Double Jeopardy, plus they'll be watching your every move as you tackle the challenge. Try not to give away too many secrets. Team Claw, are you ready? Ready! Venom, are you ready? Ready! It's time for the Eliminator. The island has strung a vast scramble net in front of the mighty Skeleton Falls. And Sting and Claw are going to have to face their fear of heights and use every bit of muscle in their arms and legs to race up it. Two adventurers from each team are going head-to-head -to, -head to take on this terrifying climb. And at the top of each team's side of the net is a massive sack of coloured balls. 
The teams will have to get both adventurers up to their sack before they can release the balls, and whichever team does this first, wins. So you now know what serious scramble involves. It's time for some team talks. Alien Claw tries her hardest in all the challenges. But when she's part of a failing team, can let things get on top of her. Sorry. However, she's an extremely determined adventurer. Scorpion Island, watch out because I'm coming. How will she cope today? Suki and Claw learnt a valuable lesson in Rock Hard Rays. Get me up! Get me up! I don't think I was shouting enough. Oh. They couldn't hear me as well. Right now. So will he be able to communicate well with Ailey? In Team Venom, Imani pulled out of a previous challenge. It started to get really hard and I couldn't put myself in my arms just buckled. I couldn't carry on. Serious scramble requires the same skills. Will she be able to master some strength and take Venom through to double jeopardy? Right then, guys, the time for talk is over. Team Claw, are you ready? Ready! Team Venom, are you ready? Ready! It's time for the Eliminator. So it's Tani and Amani for Venom versus Suki and Ailey for Claw. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Venom are rocketing through the icy water. They've got a definite lead on Claw, and yes, Imani's first to reach the ropes. The swim was tough, but now the real challenge begins. They've got to use the ropes to drag themselves up the ultra-slippery face of the falls. And that is a massive test of upper body strength. AD seems to be struggling with the climb, but Claw need her to keep the pace up because Venom are really powering on. Huge support from the teams, and it seems like it's really helped the adventure. Oh dear. Ailey fell foul of the slimy rock face. It was a smooth recovery, but if she'd lost her grip on the rope, it could have been disaster for Claw. So far, Venom are going really well. Tarn is still in front for Venom, but the net's wide spacing makes it really exhausting to climb, and she won't find it easy to maintain her lead. At this point, it could still go either way. Imagine how hard this is. They must be in absolute agony. Going. Great motivation from Tani, but if Amani's asthma really strikes, it could be game over. It would be heartbreaking for her and a proper blow to Team Venom. Claw need to speed up if they're going to have a chance of victory. Seek is making strong progress, but Ailey's small size is proving a real hindrance. And you can see the toll this climb is taking on her. They're getting near the top now. Remember, a team needs both adventurers on its sack before it can release the balls. Tarn is almost there, but Imani still seems shattered. And now Suki's nearly at Claw's sack, but Ailey's having huge difficulty. But Imani's pushed on through the pain and she's just about there. Yes! 
That's it. Venom have done it. You really don't get any closer than that. But for Team Venom, they had a tiny little bit more strength and stamina to get to the top and snatch victory. Ellie tried her best, though. That's all she can do. Um, it was a really, really tough challenge. I think it's the toughest I've been so far. And I kept on getting all tangled up in the ropes. And it was really hard. And we didn't make it, but I'm really sorry. So we... <sighs> Quite tough, your legs. Sorry. Your arms, they get tired because you're hanging on. And because I was using my left leg a lot, and my other leg was too steady. My left leg got tired, so I swapped legs and got up faster. They beat us to it. It's not just one person, it's the team, so no one thought. We can leave, we might be able to win tomorrow's challenge. If they don't win today, then Claw will be in the lead with Island Torches. No, we won't. Yeah, they will. Oh, yeah, we will. We're so, staying win, we won't. So we really want Venom one. We're backing Venom 100% because then they'll have three, single will have four, and we'll have five. So Can that's the come we'll keep on. Um, I think we did well. Um, me and Tani won, and um, I think my whole team is proud of me. Oh, it was so hard just getting up there. Oh, that was so fun, though. It was really good when we got to the top and then we pulled the string and all the balls started to fly out and we could see all our team jumping up and down and screaming for us. So, I'm really happy. Imani's ultra-fast swimming kicked things off well for Venom, giving them the advantage on the climb. And then things got even better for them as Tani raced up the scramble net. Neither of Claw looked totally comfortable in the water, but while Suki came into his own on reaching the net, Ailey's small size meant she continued to struggle. But Venom's clear lead could have come to nothing had Tani not managed to coax Imani into keeping on going, despite hitting breathing difficulties. As it was, Imani bravely battled on and gave victory to her team. So that was really, really close, wasn't it? It was neck and neck all the way, but I can announce the winner. Venom! Woo! We won! Now, now, what was it like? Because we heard you screaming from down here. <laughs> it was so scary. I was, like, so tiring, that bit where you just climb up the ropes to get yourself up there. It's so hard. You've got to have lots of body strength. What emotions are going through you as you're trying to get up there? Oh, like, you're really tired and, like, you just want to give up, basically. But we knew that we probably, we, we knew we were just ahead of them, so we kept going. Imani, describe to me what it's like. I mean, what, what part of your body hurts when you're going up there? Well, um, most of it um, is about upper body strength. Um, and it takes a lot of it going up because, like, because the rocks are slippy and your feet just slip off all the time. So it, it all rests on how strong your arms are to get you up there. And what about your knees? We saw your knees taking a few knocks trying to get up there. <laughs> well, um, I'll just, I can just say um, now I can really appreciate knee pads. <laughs> hey, that's why you're wearing knee pads. Imagine if you weren't. All right then, Claw, we talked yesterday about your winning run coming to an end. Are we now on a losing run? Hopefully not, because we want Venom to win today, and if Venom wins today, we'll be in the lead, so... We still wanted to win, though. We wanted to win, obviously, to give us another torch, but we are upset that we lost, but we, we're behind Venom 100% today. So. so you're climbing up there. Tell me what it's like for you. Well, because there's quite a big gap, I couldn't get my feet up, so I was like, just pull, pull, pull. And when you're trying to climb up the rope, it's like, trying to pull yourself up, and it, it was just over like that. Adrenaline like I said, it was neck and neck all the way. And when you were swimming out, you nearly got drowned by the waterfall. Yeah, and um, the waterfall was coming over my head. I was like, ah. And then I was swimming out to get my rope, and the waterfall was over my head. And I find that quite tough trying to swim against the waterfall. So, Kate, you feeling disappointed? I feel fine, actually, because I know Ellie tried her best and I tried my best. And the best is all we can give, really. So. Claw? Your losing streak continues. We have to send you back to your camp with absolutely nothing. So off you go. Thanks. So, Venom, 
This could be the day that you win the Eliminator and you win Double Jeopardy. And you'll go back to camp with three island torches. Have you got your fingers crossed? Yeah. But you've got to face Sting in Double Jeopardy next, and they're watching your every move, and this is what they thought of your performance. Sting are discussing who they want to field from their team. I love this person. I reckon Stevie, Stevie because you have the colours. To date, Team Sting have tried to keep things fair, selecting people to play Double Jeopardy depending on whose turn it is. Double, I'm just saying, Double Jeopardies are harder, and I think we should have an even chance about like who's done Double Jeopardy. Not I mean, if us three do one Double Jeopardy, then we can do whoever we want, please. But as they get closer to the final day, tensions are starting to mount and people are getting hot under the collar. I, I would say I would want to go with Bradley because I know that me and Bradley work really, okay. really, really well, strong together. You are Bradley. You... I know, and I'm just saying that I am a really quite good climber. Yeah. Because... And me and him work really I, well. I'm a really team from Parker. I, 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 I'm quite honest with you. I'm, I'm not, and this is just my say. Um, in, in the past, we've always gone on furnace and different challenges, how many we've done. Yeah. And I think well, maybe... Matter, what do you call no, that's not fair. You are so contradicting yourself. See, this is no, what happens with me and you. Right, this no. is what no. with me and you. We get into arguments. Oh, my God. With Serious Scramble, we had to make a decision um, who was going to play, and everyone said that I was definitely playing because I'd been missing out. I'd missed out from the three days that I was ill. So we all agreed that I was going to do it. And I wanted to uh, play this challenge with Bradley because I feel like I can get on with Bradley better than I do with um, Ricky because for some reason me and Ricky continuously have arguments. Every challenge we've gone on furnace, we've gone on everything we normally we've go got on. Both. We've got to make a decision. No, I mean, we did. I tried to say that last time on High Risk Highway. I said I want. I think me and Bradley should do it, but you said no. We're going on furnace. Savannah's doing it. We're going fur, and that's what we're doing. Because that's they're when I was captain. I'm not captain oh. now. Anna is. Well, I think that's different rules. We're having a boat. Let's all vote on it. Just like one vote each. Um, I'm gonna vote Ricky, even though maybe you don't work as well. But I know he hasn't done as one as many as you, and I'm sure he'd be good at it anyway. Okay, right. Okay. Oh. Can you vote yourself? Can you vote yourself? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I vote Brad for myself. <laughs> I vote Bradley. I vote me and Stevie. I'm saying to get torches, I can steal in Bradley too well. That's so it's me and Bradley. I'm sorry, Rick. No! It was... Rick is okay about not taking part, but he's upset at the idea that his team might not be selecting as fairly now as the competition is hotting up. I just thought that they weren't being fair like they, they normally are. That's why I got very angry. But everyone said that we should do furnace all the way through the competition. And when that's I what, said that when I was We've happy. all done that. We've all been fair through the competition. Uh, through we've done a vote now. We've all but done we've done, done equally a vote. We've equally done a vote. Well, I think the team sting constitution was always to be respectful to your teammates. And I just think that Stevie was a little bit overdoing it by just telling Ricky about five times that he shouldn't do it because Brad and Stevie work better together. And I think that was the reason why Ricky got a little bit upset because Stevie was practically shouting at him. But Stevie's got a different view. I think that now, like, the end of it's now approaching. It is more about competition than fairness right now. And it, we're going to get in so many arguments for it, but we can't go by fairness because it's just going to make us lose and we actually need so many torches so we know that we're definitely clear and that we've definitely got an even better chance of winning. I've missed out on three challenges, Yeah, I know, I wanted you to do challenges. And that I said from the start, Steve, it was in between you two. At first, I wanted to say to Anna, I made a point that I think it should be me and Savannah and Steve, between me and Savannah and Stevie, and Bradley should never been in the thing because he's done more challenges than us. But Ricky, we voted on it as a team. Looking back on it, I think I should have said that Ricky should do it, even though half the team didn't agree, because it was technically his turn. So 
I'm not very pleased with myself about that, but I can't change it now. Some people are getting really hurt by what people are saying, such as me saying that I think like me and Bradley work better together. I think we should just stop saying that and just start getting to the point that we're all really good members and we're all strong. After a turbulent start, Sting are working on pulling themselves together as a team as they get ready for the big challenge in Double Jeopardy. Team Claw go back to their camp to discuss the Eliminator. How do we all feel after losing the challenge? Uh, well, obviously, I think we all feel a little bit disappointed and, like, we can't really help feeling because it comes naturally and, obviously, we feel a little bit sort of, like, a fully made one, but I think we just have to kind of get on with it, if you know what I mean? Considering that they were very tall. You guys, no offense, aren't exactly the tallest people in the world. So um, they they got up there much quicker because they were able to, you know, jump two ropes at a time or whatever. My legs were getting all tangled up in the rope and I was like swinging around to try and get them out. And then like when I was putting my foot in the other one, I was reaching up and your arms just feel like they're dead. Like, you know, when you feel like, ugh, because you're pulling up. If you take it in that they're so much taller and you guys uh, fell in just a few seconds behind them, then I think you did extremely well. Yeah. We're kind of nearly at our end, our um, experience on Scorpion Island, and I think now we just have to push ourselves to the absolute limit, because today I felt like my body was going to die, and then I was just pulling myself up. And although we didn't win, I still tried my hardest, and I think um, if we all just push ourselves, even when we feel we can't go on, we all just push ourselves, and we all, and we all just like remember, it's, like there's a couple of challenges left, and we need to be staying. Then I think we'll do really well, and hopefully win. Escape from Scotland. Ireland. Here's so here's to beating Sting and Venom, and as in, winning and Scorpion and Island. Yeah. Hands in, everybody. So hopefully this is the last losing chapter. Yeah. Okay. Hands in. Okay. 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 Adventurers are putting so much into every single challenge. There's so much at stake, and they're really starting to feel the pressure. After a tense battle between Claw and Venom, Tani and Imani for Venom were a strong partnership, with Tani encouraging Imani all the way. Tani, I've got really bad acid going. All right, we're almost there. Amy and Suki just weren't fast enough, meaning Claw lost the Eliminator. But AD was still a good team player. We are upset that we lost, but we we're behind Venom 100% today. So now it's time for Double Jeopardy, where the challenge is much tougher and the stakes are raised for the adventurers. Team Sting will take on Team Venom as they battle it out for an island torch. But as ever, there's a lot at stake. The island has decreed that if Team Venom win today's challenge, they'll gain two island torches, one of which they'll take from Team Sting. So Double Jeopardy will be Sting versus Venom. Sting, excited? Yeah, I think yeah. we're all really excited about it because it looks amazing. Anna, tell me who is playing for Sting? Well, we've chosen Stevie and Brad. Stevie and Brad? Yeah. Hang on, I heard it was going to be Bradley and Ricky. Well, there was a little bit of a disagreement between the team because um, Ricky and Brad both wanted to do it with Stevie and I couldn't just make a decision because half of the team were disagreeing with me. So we had to go for a vote and Brad won. Ricky, are you disappointed? Um, yeah, but... I'm fine now, they're a strong team, so we're still going to win. Despite the fact that the argument has upset him, Ricky shows he's a good sport. But as team captain, should it not be your decision? I couldn't do it because whatever I said, people were disagreeing with me. So have we got a little bit of tension going off in Sting? 
I think we've got a little bit, but it'll be all sorted by tonight. But you have to win this then. We do. If it doesn't happen, it's going to fall to pieces. It is a little bit, yeah. Everybody will be blaming you as team captain. I hope it doesn't go that far. No, I don't think everyone will be blaming Anna as team captain. Right, OK. Now you need to choose two people to play against you from Venom. And you can't choose Tani and Amani. So, Anna, who's the first person you're choosing? Uh, we are going to choose Assad. Why are you choosing Assad? Because, well, we didn't really want to choose Jeremy because he's you know got a you know strong strength and he's like all really strong and everything. And Millie has got her injured knee. So, by the process of elimination, we will stick with Assad and Harry, obviously. And Harry, why have you picked Harry? Well, the process of elimination as well, and we also thought yesterday, when they were doing the pulling uh, with the barrel, Harry didn't look that strong, so we chose him. Harry, how do you feel about that? Yesterday, you didn't look that strong. I'm actually quite annoyed, because I think, I think Jeremy agrees as well, because if I wasn't there as well, just, like, it would be harder for him as well. If you so, were there, and you should have seen how much work Harry was doing, it was working, yes, quite all. So you take that to heart, do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Asad, how do you feel about playing? Um, I'm ready for it. It's just I think the thing because um, the swimming thing, I think that that that'll just like give them a head start a little bit. But hopefully I'll uh, do the swimming and keep the top. Remember, Asad only learned to swim a couple of weeks before coming to Scorpion Island, and it's still the thing that he's most worried about. But despite this, he's bravely tried really hard in all of the water challenges. How do you feel about Sting? There's a little bit of tension going on there. There's a few tears and tantrums. Is that time for Venom to get in there and nick it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's our time to pounce. How are, how are spirits in Venom? Uh, no. Running high. Really, really high. So, as you know, both teams, you are playing for an all-important island torch. Sting, you must put one of yours on the line. So tonight, you can go back to camp with six if you win double jeopardy. Venom, you currently have one. You will take a new island torch if you win, along with the one Stinger put on the line, and you could go back to camp with three, and you still have every chance of having the advantage in the race to escape. So this is the most important challenge so far for you, Venom. Team Sting, are you ready? Ready! Team Venom, are you ready? Ready! It's time for Double Jeopardy. This is Double Jeopardy, and so the island is making things ultra tough for Sting and Venom. This time, the enormous red scorpion pattern made of giant ribbons has been partially dismantled, and the teams have got to scramble all around the net to put it back together. The five unattached ends of the ribbons and the points where they need to be attached are both marked with numbers. So, to rebuild the scorpion, the adventurers have just got to match the numbers. Sounds simple, but you try doing it while hanging onto a huge net high above Skeleton Falls. This challenge is going to be incredibly tough on the adventurers' arms and legs. It's going to hurt. And whichever team reassembles the scorpion quickest, wins. First up, it's Harry and Assad for Venom. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> and they're away. Neither of them are the strongest swimmers, but they're not hanging around in that icy water. They've reached the face of the falls. This is where the proper work starts. And this is an amazing climb from Assad. He's racing up. Harry is struggling. And oh, he's lost his footing. Come on, Harry! Harry needs to get a move on because Assad's already reached the scramble net. Come on, Harry! Woo! 
That's more like it. Harry's dragged himself up to some better footholds, and now he's looking much more solid. Come on, Harry! The scramble net now, this is where things get really tricky. It's so widely spaced that climbing up and moving around is totally exhausting. But if they're going to get that scorpion together, that's exactly what they're going to have to do. Where did the number 10 go? Huh? Number 10. Harry sounds confident, but it's Assad who's finally listened to his teammates advice, made the first number match and correctly rebuilt the first bit of the scorpion. There are five connections to be made in total, so they've got four left to do. Harry's put another one in place. And that's Assad with his second. This is really quick work from Venom, but can they keep it up? Good stuff. Harry's on the right track for another repair to the Scorpion, but Assad is way off. He's climbing up the net when he needs to head to the bottom. <laughs> the rest of Venom are trying to tell Assad where to go, and he needs to start listening or else this could go badly wrong. Assad slipped into the net, but no, no, he's OK. There's one down here! Oh, he's fallen again! I've got number two! Oh, and Harry's down as well! Harry, Harry out! Have either of them heard their teammates' advice? Or has the deafening sound of the waterfall drowned them out? Either way, to have a chance of completing the Scorpion in a time Sting will find hard to beat, they need to get a move on. Harry's got his in place, so now it's all about Assad. Assad! Assad! What have you done? Number six! Yeah! Oh, yes! That's it! Venom have completed the Scorpion in what seems a really quick time. Now let's see what Stevie and Bradley can do for Sting. Three, two, one, go! And they're off. And they're making terrific time through the water. There is no sign that the freezing temperatures are affecting them. They've made it to the ropes, and that seemed a much quicker swim than Venom's. And this is terrifically synchronised climbing. That was almost too casual. Bradley is just scampering up the falls. But Steve has made it to the scramble net too. So the question is, can they rebuild the Scorpion any quicker than Venom? And remember, Stevie and Bradley didn't see Harry and Assad in action, so they can't learn from their mistakes or their successes.
some controlled network there, and it's taken them both to their first ribbon ends. Ten. Ten to ten. Yes, that's their first number match. A fine start from Bradley, but he's got to keep it up. Steve is having to haul herself around the ropes, and Bradley's having to deal with the white water to free his next ribbon. This is properly physically demanding. The spray of the falls makes it really hard to breathe. You can see the effort on Bradley's face. Smart footwork from Stevie, and Bradley's got his second number match. They're going great guns. That's Stevie's first number match. The Scorpion is coming together. Come on, Stevie! Where's the next one? Stevie's not sure where she's going next, but there is no time to waste if Sting wants to beat Venom. Great climbing from Bradley, and Steve is throwing herself around the net. You can't fault them for effort. That's another match from Bradley, which means there's just one more connection to make. Is that it? Cut Number one! Woo! Go and number one! I know where it is, I got it, I got it! Steve is on the case, but there's less than 20 seconds left on the clock. She needs to move fast if they're going to beat Venom's time. But it would be a disaster if she took a real tumble now. But no, she's making it look easy. That's it, stop the clock! A brilliant performance from Sting and another really quick time. That's a mess. It's really, really good. It was absolutely crazy. I think we did it, like, really, really quick, yeah. though. Yeah. Because it felt like nothing. It felt really the amount of speed crazy. that we were going, it just felt like nothing. It just went so fast. It was so amazing. It's the most craziest thing I will ever do. I can now confirm that both teams completed the Scorpion pattern. However, one team completed it in a slightly faster time. That team is... Team Sting. Yes! Come on. Well done, you guys. Woo! All right, boys. Did really well. It was so, so close. Team Venom, you still have that one island torch. We keep having the same situation. You do brilliantly at the Eliminator. You get through to Double Jeopardy, and you miss out by that much. Oh. But don't be disheartened. Don't give up. Harry, how easy was that game for you? Uh, it was actually quite good. I was a little bit nervous. But, um, I think when I was doing it, it was easier, so... Assad, pretty simple for you. I know, I actually enjoyed it. I, I, I thought it was going to be really, like, you know, not... Uh, like, I'm going to get scared of it and really hard, but it was kind of good and I really enjoyed it. Yeah? Yeah. It was a great effort. Really, really good effort. But you were beaten by that much. I know. Yeah. Team Sting, you have five island torches. I will give you your torch back that you staked. Here you go, Bradley. And Stevie, there is your new island torch. Which means, how many have you got in total now? Six. Six, Six island torches. Absolutely brilliant. Off you go back to camp. Off you go, Venom. And better luck tomorrow. Yep. It's been an extraordinary day for the teams, but the fun doesn't stop there. They've been voting for their new team captains.
But in Sting, the vote isn't that simple. So, the new team captain is... I don't know, because it's a hung vote. Bradley and Stevie, again. Oh, what? <laughs> they go off to discuss who should be the new team captain. Last time there was a hung vote in Team Sting, Stevie gave the captaincy to Bradley. What will happen this time? I've gave, I'm just saying, I've gave it to you, so... I thought you'd, you'd probably give it to me, and then, as, like, the team, we'd decide that we'd vote for you, so you'd definitely be captain next time. I probably won't be voted captain you again. You will. I won't. The will of the team decides. They go back to Team Sting. Have they decided? Right, so me and Bradley talked and we couldn't decide who was going to be captain, so we wanted to leave it to you three to decide. Because I, we've both got good reasons for being captain, but we can't make a decision together, so we thought we'd leave it with you three. So we always have a discussion. So. I did actually think that, being as Stevie gave you the um, thing last time, on this time I think Stevie should yeah. get it, personally. Yeah. So we've kind of decided yeah. Yeah. to have the captain. Oh, Ben, please. You're not allowed. Yeah, I am. There you are. You need to captain me. <laughs> Thank you. Third time. Oh, that's Stevie. How have Team Claw voted? The new team captain of Venom is Jeremy and Millie. Must decide. <laughs> we better go to side now, okay? okay. Right, see ya. I think you should have it. Really? I, you haven't had it yet in Team Venom. How many times did you have it in court? Yeah, so we both had it once. And lady sir, so you, you can have it. Thank you. So, Millie's the new captain of Venom. Well done. Uh, well done, well done. Hey, for the new team. Well done, Peace out, man. So it's time to find out which of the new captains will be taking part in today's captain's task. Who will pick the shortest pole? Will it be Millie? Ailey? You've got the short hair stick. Or Stevie? Oh, never mind Stevie. It's Stevie. I'm happy and upset at the same challenging. time. Everyone's excited, but what's the task? Taste all and pick the chicken to win. Oh. Stevie has to guess which meat out of five is chicken, whilst being blindfolded. OK, I don't like this. You can do this, Stevie. This is a yummy dish, trust me. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> sharp! You guys, sharp! What's the first dish? <laughs> It's crocodile. Oh, shut up, shut up. Open wide. <laughs> is it quite good? This is good. Oh, you guys are gonna starve, you know. <laughs> this is luxury. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Next up, oh it's kangaroo. I've eaten this, Stevie. <laughs> oh, I've ate cheese and onion flavoured crickets. It's not that bad, is it? <laughs> That's just funny. This is the world. <laughs> <laughs> world. I need it. Oh, oh shut up. Here <laughs> comes the cheese. 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 Cheese.
Oh, 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 Do you fancy eating emu? Oh, can't taste as bad as Bradley, can it? Oh, how did she be like bleeding? We had to chop that off Brad's arm. <laughs> you can see she doesn't like that very much. Oh. Is that not very nice? <laughs> I don't like this one, it's horrible. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh. Of course, that's not really rat, it's venison. But the adventurers are going along with it to put the pressure on Stevie. Last up, it's the real chicken. Should I eat it to make you all sick? Oh, no, don't eat it! That's so mean! 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 so mean! That's Number one or number five? Perhaps <laughs> <laughs> sorry you guys are this wrong, okay? But I think the one that tastes more like chicken was number five. She's done it! It's a double celebration. Sting have not only won the task, but Ricky and Stevie have made their peace. Despite all the pressure, all is well within Team Sting. <laughs> it's luxury time for Sting. <laughs> Open it. Oh, Water guns. Nice. Think of all this. Oh my days, no way. I'm not going. I'm not bothered about that, Rick. What? It's just water guns, they're plastic. I want water guns. Ice cream sucks. Water guns. Water guns. The only bad thing is if they're going to come and wet us. And that's why we have to make a plan. Whoa! Okay, now we need to set up a base. Yeah, we'll put the net down there, climb up there, as soon as they walk on, pull it up, catch them, chuck them in the river, tie it up, chuck them in the river, steal their water pistols and retaliate. Squirt them! Squirt them back. This thing I've got water pistols and we're going to fill this blue bucket up with water. When they come trying to squirt their pistols at us, we're going to chuck the water on them. They're coming now, we better Because I know we're going to take them. Now the battle stations. They get us wet. I'm gonna chuck a bet. They They're only gonna get wet because Tyson's invited them to. I want to. I want yeah, well, you can get wet then because we don't want to get wet. Tyson makes the first attack. <laughs> But Sting retaliates. Across the camps, water fight chaos ensues. Put the gun down! Away from the weapon!
Night falls on Scorpion Island. At the moment, Team Stinger in the lead with six island torches. Claw have five island torches. And Team Venom only have one. But the next challenge is prepared. The drums echo over the island. All three teams are being called to the island fire. Stevie, how was your day? I think we've had a brilliant day. We've been on just like a full winning streak today, Sting, so... You've been on a full winning streak, but we had tears in Sting earlier on. Yeah. It all kicked off. What happened? Um, we were trying to f um, work out who was going to play for Double Jeopardy, and I was going through because I'd missed out on games or uh, challenges already. Um, but we couldn't decide in between Bradley or Ricky and it just got in a huge kerfuffle because Bradley really wanted to do it and I got on, like, me, we know that me and Bradley work really well as a team and me and Ricky do as well, but we all couldn't decide so we had to go on a vote and it just exploded. Were you being a little bit bossy? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Was she being a little bit bossy? Yep. <laughs> as you were saying, I don't think I was being bossy. Pretty much all your teammates are going, <laughs> ah, but it worked. On you. But Stevie, it worked. Yeah. Remind us how many island torches Sting now have? Six. Six, Six island torches. Yeah. So Sting are happy. Yep. Ailey, what about Claw? We're kind of looking on the bright side, staying positive, and looking forward to tomorrow. Well, serious scramble. You did really, really well. It was so close. I think that's the toughest island challenge I've done yet in Scorpion Island because it was the most physically demanding. Millie for Team Venom. Yeah. Do you know what? It was another close shave again today. Yeah. Uh, I've got to say, Harry and Assad, absolutely outstanding play today. And once again, you get through the Eliminator, you get to Double Jeopardy, and you lose. <laughs> <laughs> the margin is getting so small. It was a matter of milliseconds today. Let's get to the next challenge that you will face on Scorpion Island. Team captains, please place your hand on the inner ring. And spin. What does that say? Don't look down. So don't look down. What is it? Discuss with your teammates. So don't look down. It seems blatantly obvious to me. It's got to be something to do with heights. It is completely to do with heights, but it's not on the land. And let's just hope they don't get seasick. The shark-infested waters off Scorpion Island have been visited once again by the deserted pirate ship, the Shattered Skull. This time, the teams are going aboard for a massive test of endurance and bravery. The adventurers will be way up in the rigging, crossing the length of the ship, using nothing more than rope, fearlessness, and absolute faith in their teammates. It's going to be a heart-stopping experience, and of course, the one thing they need to keep saying to themselves over and over is... Don't look down. We now need to figure out who will be playing it. Now, Sting, obviously, you won Double Jeopardy today, which means you bypassed the Eliminator. Happy about that, Stevie? Definitely. I think we need to really bypass it now, so we know what the challenge is and we can get straight into Double Jeopardy. Good. So, the next challenge, it will be Claw versus Venom. So, Claw, step up to the island fire and place your hands on the island palm. The flame has faded under three of Team Claw's handprints, but two are smouldering brighter than ever. These are the ones selected to play by the island. Playing Don't Look Down for Team Claw will be Oliver and Tyson. Ah, sounds like it could be a magic combination. Ollie. I really wanted to do a challenge, and it sounds uh, like my thing, because I really do like kites. I'm not afraid of them or anything. Well, good luck in the next challenge. You may step down. Thank you. Venom, please step up to the island fire. Let's find out who will be playing in the next challenge. Place your hands in the island palms. <laughs> Play.
playing Don't Look Down for Team Venom. Your next challenge will be Assad and Jeremy. Jeremy, you're yeah. joining with Assad in the next challenge. Yeah, we're both fairly strong and good at climbing. I think we're both, none of us, both of us aren't scared of heights. And I think we can beat Ole and Tyson tomorrow. And we have to win tomorrow. Yeah. We've got one torch. They've got five and they've got six. All happy about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. Team Venom, you may step down. So then, teams, your next challenge is called Don't Look Down. Go back to your camps, think about your next challenge, get some rest, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. It's been another exciting day here on Scorpion Island. Sting are now back in the lead with six island torches. Claw have five. But Venom, bless them, they've still only got one. But they refuse to give up. Who will win the next island torch? There's only one way to find out. Join us next time as we try to escape from Scorpion Island. Next time, the teams face another captain's task. Oh, yeah. There are just two island torches up for grabs. And the teams take on the most terrifying challenge yet on board the Shattered Skull. We're good. We'll push against each other. But as the ship sways beneath them, which team will be brave enough to win an island torch?